Fonroo 2011, one and only Matt Binfield. Hey, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing great. You know, second day in a row that I've been here. I came in like late Thursday night, was grounded in uh, Newark for about six hours. You know, I live 15 minutes from that airport in Jersey. And I got there and I was like, oh man, I got a good early start, you know. Next thing you know, I'm sitting there for like five, six hours. We finally took off, landed in Nashville, drove here, got here early Friday morning. I had a great day yesterday, man. Yeah. Interviewed about 10 artists for 120 minutes, which is coming right, back right. at the end of July um, on MTV2. Mm -hmm. This time around, it's going to be on Saturday night, it's not Sunday night, but um, I'm really pumped about it. So we went, we like literally did nine interviews back to back yesterday and then waited four more hours to do one more. So, you know, but, you know, what's, hey, what's, what's not to love about being around a lot of great music? That's right. right. What's the standout interviews yesterday? Any of them really? Uh, you know, Arcade Fire, um, you know, I mean, Arcade Fire, Givers, Decemberists, um, there were a bunch. Uh, I mean, it, it, those were all really great. Big Boy from Outcast, because he was really cool, right. talking about, you know, Modest Mouse, working with them, wanting to work with Kate Bush, working with Matt Kim. So it's like cool, you know, there's, um, you know, it's just been fun. I really enjoyed it. And today, did Mumford and & Sons and uh, and um, Portugal Demands. So just going to keep on going. And then tomorrow, fly to L.A. And then do a thing with the Chili Peppers Monday and then go back to New York. It's a rough my, life. Uh, not really. I mean, I'm very, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful to still be working, you know what I mean, and doing radio and television. It's, I feel very lucky, you know. I feel well, very, 120 minutes, uh, one of the most influential rock shows of all time. How did it come back? What, what was the process of getting this back uh, back from the grave? Well, you know, it's very interesting because the original intention, you know, where I, where I, do, where I DJ in New York City at 101.9 and RxP, was that we would do a, sh a radio show on Sunday night like a, with a 120-type format. Um, but I, So I contacted MTV with the idea of calling it 120 more minutes. Right. So I got up to, you know, up to some of the people up top there who said to me, you know, yeah, no problem. You can even call it 120 minutes, just as long as we're, you know, we're involved and we can get all the legal stuff done. And then they said to me, but we'd be really like to see you do hosting the show again on MTV too. I'm like, yeah, I'd love to be. <laughs> and then it kind of like from different areas, it kind of happened. I actually walked, I was bringing Arcade Fire on stage at the Garden or Kingsley or whatever and saying, so I just mentioned, and I was meaning, I was talking about the radio show, but I said, hey, 120 minutes is going to be, is coming back. And then people interpreted the press that the TV show was coming back, so this buzz was created. So you did this even before yeah. it happened, right? Well, yeah. So it was it wasn't it wasn't misleading. I really believed in the radio show, but then it kind of started to make things happen. So there's also a thing online now. If you go on online to MTV.com or MTVHive.com, it's a new site they launched. There's a thing I do every week called 120 Seconds, and it's me interviewing artists and. You know, interesting people in the music thing, and it's cool. And there's also, by the way, archival episodes of 120 up there, and some of them, it's embarrassing the shirts I was wearing in the 90s. <laughs> there are shirts in there that look like lampshades, uh, and ones that look like if you walk close to me with a match, meaning 10 feet, that I would, like, light on fire. I mean, the shirts look like, they were definitely flammable. I don't know what the hell they were made we out of. We all lived through the 90s, yeah, is that right? So We've all know. done it. Well, We've all got it. Music was great. Sometimes the clothes weren't. I think the Seattle guys had it right. We're flat old. Never goes out of style. <laughs> you know I mean? There you go. But it was funny. It was great talking to you guys. Yeah, it was seriously great. Uh, I'm so looking forward to this. I mean, this is this is huge news. It's only on once a month at first, right? Yeah, it's going to start once a month. We're going to do the weekly 120 seconds, but one, it's going to be once a month, um, you know, starting at the end of July. It looks like that last week. I mean, we haven't announced it officially yet, but I'm giving you a scoop on that. Too. All right. Because I because I think it, it will be announced very shortly. I mean, it's it's a it's, it's pretty close to being done, but it's it's exciting. You know, we're like we're doing a lot of stuff for the show. The difference, I think, this time around is going to be it won't just be sitting on these road cases. I mean, there's literally going to be anywhere between seven and fourteen different interviews in each show, really? and tons of tons of videos as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. Right on, man. Right. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, Matt great, Benfield. great seeing you. You man. too. It was so awesome, All guys. Right. Thanks so much. Yeah. Yeah.